The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Botest.com, and today I am on Yamaha's 252 SD. This is a new 25 foot model for the company, and it reimagines just how much you can do with a 25 foot boat. Let me show you what I mean as I do a full features inspection. We'll start with the cockpit. Now it's still an eight foot six inch beam, but Yamaha has taken everything much further to the outside so that there's more room than I would expect in a 25 foot boat. In fact, 37 inches between the two seats and we've got a cockpit depth of 37 inches as well. How's that for safety? There's a bit of a refreshment center over to the starboard side, marine mat surface, beverage holder, and we can expand its usefulness by bringing up a table. There's even storage underneath. And frankly, right away, it's hard not to notice the fit and finish. I mean, multiple tones of upholstery, bead welting, heavy stitching. The upholstery is heavy duty, so it's able to withstand the rigors of the marine industry. There's a grab handle, little storage area with a net, speakers, beverage holders. There's more speakers over to the other side, even a subwoofer to the port side. And we can expand on the seating even more by swiveling one or both of the forward chairs around. Headroom under the collapsible sport tower, six feet, six inches, and it supports an elevated toe point, six feet, nine inches off the deck. Moving to the bow, there's a lot of versatility here, and we can reconfigure it into several different arrangements. We can have two lounge seats, one to port and one to starboard. We can remove one of the forward cushions. We can remove both of the forward cushions. We can convert the area into a sun pad. And we can also convert it into three across forward-facing seating. Notice how Yamaha carries the beam so far forward, so there's so much room here. 35 inches between the seats. There's a cockpit depth of 36 inches, and there are also speakers and beverage holders. A grab rail is integrated into the cap rail. Fully forward, there's a marine mat step, and there's even marine mat on top of the hatch, which opens up on a gas assist strut. Underneath, there's an anchor locker, and a beach reboarding ladder. And I like that there's a six inch cleat for securing the anchor road. As we make our way back, there's storage under the helm console and huge storage in the deck. And take a look at this for huge storage. Inside the port console, this is set up as a utility storage compartment. There's dedicated storage for both the table and the pedestal. We can also get an aftermarket porta potty and make this into a functional head thanks to the four feet of overhead clearance. Around the back of the console, two more storage compartments, plus a storage cubby and two beverage holders. Moving to the stern, probably the most popular spot on any Yamaha, certainly in my book. Aft-facing seating, two levels, there's storage underneath the seat backs, and this year we can even get more room by sliding the seat backs forward. Over to the starboard side, there's a stereo remote and a freshwater shower. And notice there are cushions right against the transom. So when we're sitting on the swim platform, we can be that much more comfortable. And notice there's a base for the pedestal table over on the port side. We even have two seats that can go in the water on the transom and one can convert to an in the water table. Now let's take a look at operations starting with the helm, which the main focal point is, of course, this floating connects to touchscreen. This has an awful lot of functionality to it, but it gives us three operating parameters. We can be in dual lever mode for running, single lever mode, and drive mode. That gives us more functionality at the dock. We'll get into that a little later on in the video. Now there's a lot of functionality to the screen as well. Notice on one side we have depth and on the other side fuel and some electronic controls down at the bottom. That will always be there on our home page and all the other pages we scroll through. Now, here and here, we've got Bluetooth connectivity and our water temperature. This signifies that we're in float mode. If I start the engines up, these two will revert to RPM gauges. If I go to the next screen, now we have a moving map display thanks to the GPS connectivity here. I can scroll in and out as well as make this full page. The next one gives us our target speed and acceleration for water sports. Next, we can control some of the electrical systems about the boat, including turning on the pump for the fresh water shower, the helm lighting, courtesy lighting, and dock lighting. 
And notice we can adjust the brightness of the courtesy lighting. And finally, our settings page. Now, because we have drive-by-wire technology through this, we also have one button start stops for each engine. Now, obviously this is touchscreen functionality, but we can also control everything from the joystick right alongside. And there's also a phone holder that we can have mounting in the portrait or landscape mode. There are switches over on the side for the bilge, horn, nav lights, blower, and two accessories. And I'm happy to see that the steering wheel is mounted to a tilt base. The helm seat extremely comfortable, 20 inches wide, but it has a 17 inch wide bolster. And I like that because I can move my legs to the outside and brace myself when I'm cranking and banking. And of course, to add to the comfort level, two flip down armrests, plus there's another armrest just above. So when I've got the boat cruising along, very easy to get right to the throttles. And adding to the elegant styling is this wraparound windshield. And notice how it comes way back, but still keeps ventilation as you get all the way back towards the cockpit. Underneath the engine hatch, look at this. Pair of 1.8 liter naturally aspirated HO Yamaha Marine engines. The Yamaha 252 SD has length overall of 24 feet 6 inches, a beam of 8 feet 6 inches, and a draft of 19 inches. With an empty weight of 4,612 pounds, 30% fuel, and three people on board, we had an estimated test weight of 5,343 pounds. With a pair of 1.8 liter high output Yamaha Marine engines turning 14.7 millimeter stainless steel impellers out of 155 millimeter high pressure pumps and run up to 7,400 RPM, our speed topped out at 43.8 miles per hour. Best cruise came in at 6,000 RPM and 32.2 miles per hour. At that speed, the 13.3 gallon per hour fuel burn translated into 2.4 miles per gallon and a range of 153 statute miles all while still holding back a 10% reserve of the boat's 70-gallon total fuel capacity. As expected with any Yamaha boat, the 252SD has exciting handling characteristics. With the twin 1.8-liter high-output engines, she's quick out of the hole. We reach planing speed in an average 2 seconds flat, continued through 20 miles per hour in 5.5 seconds, and right on through 30 miles per hour in 8.5 seconds. She has three-quarter turn steering that has most jet boats spinning out in the turn, but Yamaha has eliminated that and kept the boat in control throughout. I noticed no chine walk or adverse slide to the turns and only a little bit of speed bleeding off. I also noticed that even without the single lever feature activated, if the throttles are anywhere near close to each other, the engines will automatically sync to each other. Now with drive technology, you control the boat with two paddles. The right one makes it go forward, the left one makes it go astern. And some people like to use two hands. Personally, I like to use one and just rotate between the two. And you can squeeze it incrementally to give you more or less throttle. Like all jet boats, so you kind of go straight to the dock instead of letting it drift side two. So just before I come up to the dock, I turn the wheel hard over and then give it a little thrust to get that turn going hard over the other way to bring the stern in and bring the bow away just a little bit come the other way bring the stern in little shots little shots just switching from one side to the other and there I am right up against the dock all thanks to drive technology well, comfort, versatility, technology, and roominess, I can clearly see why Yamaha calls this the 25-footer reimagined. And that's my full features inspection and performance evaluation of the all-new 252 SD from Yamaha. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.